Jubilee Nairobi's chairman Mark Ndungu has just announced that Jubilee has collected 10,000 signatures seeking to leave Azimio within 14 days. Now in this particular video I want us to analyze why it is they want to leave Azimio, why now and what this means for Azimio into the future. Now first up is their demands and I think it's better off if you heard it from the horse's mouth. So here is Jubilee's chairman Mark Ndungu. Just have a look at this. Kwa hii the endorsement mnipatia kama chair wa Nairobi. Nawashukuru sana. Na moving forward Nairobi Jubilee itaamka. Secondly, tunataka tuambie chama yetu ya Jubilee. We have collected more than 10,000 signatures from Nairobi. Na tunataka tuhakikishe ya kwamba within 14 days tutoke kwa tika hii kitu inaitwa azimio. Si unataka kutoka kwa azimio kwa sababu ya jambo kadhaa. Muliona tukifanya election watu wa ODM ambao wanajifanya ndio azimio peke yao. Hata waku consult na Jubilee walikuwa na frustrate viongozi wote wa Jubilee hapa Nairobi. Jambo lingine ile agreement ambao ilipatiano ati tuingie azimio. Wajai shed light hata hatujui nini wali sign so Jubilee sisi tuna urge within 14 days mkuwe na mechanism sisi tuondoke katika azimio. Kwa sababu pale azimio tumeona tuheshimiwi. Tunaona kama hapa Nairobi walikuwa wamesema speaker wa Nairobi atakuwa mheshimiwa wa Ngoro na chama ikaandika barua. Lakini mheshimiwa wa Ngoro alikuwa short change. Tumekuwa na mheshimiwa mmoja anaitwa Mbatia ambaye alikuwa kuwe chairman wa budget committee ili badilishwe ikapatiwa ODM. Tumeona hata kwa national parliament. E, kiongozi ambaye anaitwa Weluke alikuwa ingia parliamentary service commission lakini alikuwa short changed. Si tunaona hii marriage saa hii. Si marriage nzuri. Lazima tutaondoka. Tumeona juzi huyu sifuna ambaye ni senator wa Nairobi. Na tunakuambia sifuna we heshimu viongozi wa Jubilee. Niliona juzi kututukana watu wa Jubilee, ukitukana secretary general wetu wa Jubilee, Ukisema sisi ni waongo. Sisi tunawaambia nyinyi ndio makonmen ile ambaye jeu inaonekana hapa Nairobi. Na sisi tunasema hivi. Hii mambo ya maandamano. Sisi kama watu wa Nairobi Jubilee tunaambia Nairobians msikubaliane na hiyo maneno. Kwa sababu saa hii ndio biashara zetu zimeanza kurudi. Tumekuwa na COVID tena mtuambie maandamano. Na tunajua hii maandamano ni kitu selfish na ni ya mtu mmoja. Na tunakuambia hata Raila Amolo Odinga waachana na mambo ya maandamano. Biashara kama mnataka kufanya maandamano, fanyeni Kisumu, fanyeni Ugenya huko lakini si hapa Nairobi. Ambapo watu wengi wa Jubilee ndio wanafanya hizo biashara. Jambo lingine nataka kusema hatutakubali kutumika watu wa Nairobi kwa sababu ya mtu mmoja. Sisi tunakuambia Raila wakati wetu na nyinyi uliisha. Hii madhara umekuwa nao miaka mingi Nairobi hapa hatutakubali. Secondly naambia chama chetu ambacho ni chama cha amani. Na naambia hata Jeremia Kioni ambaye ni SG wetu. Usitishwe na watu wendage hizo mikutano. Hao watu wametudharau na sisi hakuna siku tutakubali kuenda hizo mikutano zao ambazo ni za kuleta vurugu na saa zile inchi imetulia tuko na e, tuko na government mpya ambayo watajamaliza miezi tatu kufanya e, biashara mzuri na pale chama yetu inaweza kuwa bado iko kwa ground tutatafuta watu ambao ni like minded kama sisi so ile kitu mimi nataka kusema tukimalizia heshima si utumwa ni ODM mmekuwa mnakono watu miaka mingi tunajua interest yenu ni ya mtu mmoja ama watu wawili sisi hatutakubaliana hapa Nairobi na tunasema kuanzia sasa tutaanza kuzunguka every ward in Nairobi tukiendelea kukolekti signatures za kusema ya kwamba sisi kama Jubilee we are not part and parcel ya azimio. Jambo lingine nikimalizia. Tumeona eh tumeona ile ile malumbano ambayo inaendelea. Sisi tutashirikiana. Tunataka amani Kenya hatutaki vurugu. Na tunawaambia jubili, sisi kama Nairobi lazima mtatupatia two officials ambao watenda kwa NEC. Kwa sababu sijaiona chama ambayo haiko na kiongozi hata mmoja wa Nairobi katika NEC. So hata hiyo tuangalilieni na moving forward jubili Nairobi itaweza kuamka. Na ofisi tutachukua ofisi yetu na tutaanza kuleta watu hata wale walikuwa sita sita wanaogopa. Serikali imebadilika, sasa hakuna incitement, hakuna mali utatishwa. Tuliambiwa hata tusipige na WhatsApp. Sasa tupige tu normal calls. 
so Mungu endelee kuwabariki na mimi kama chairman wa Nairobi naambiwa wa, wa, e, watu wetu members wa Jubilee tutashirikiana na nyinyi tuta consult kabla tufanye mambo yote asanteni sana Mungu awabariki in my opinion the Jubilee Nairobi caucus being the ones to trigger this exit is very symbolic they know very well that Nairobi is the capital city they know very well that anything happening in Nairobi all the media will be on it and that is why they chose to trigger that particular exit while here in Nairobi it did not come from Jubilee Kirinyaga it did not come from Jubilee Tharakanithi county no it came from the Nairobi county so i find that to be a bit symbolic now the reasons for exiting are nothing new if you have been following odm politics the first real reason there is betrayal azimio did not support kanini kega to go to the east african legislative assembly it took the intervention of the dp rigadi gashagwa then honorable mbatia was supposed to be chairman of the budget committee in nairobi and he was shortchanged honorable wangori was also supposed to be the speaker but he was shortchanged so this kind of shortchanging and lying and cheating is the number one reason why these people want to leave azimio there is no other reason other than that one that is the main reason the deceit and then on top of that the disrespect the way edwin sifuna addressed the sg of jubilee jeremiah kioni it was just a shame he wasn't appreciative of the 1.2 million votes that jubilee delivered for azimio in mount kenya 1.2 is very amazing rail loading has never gotten such kind of votes in mount kenya and despite jubilee delivering half of what they said they said they deliver 2.4 but they got 1.2 nonetheless they got bashed for it so that kind of disrespect is another reason why they want to leave but in my opinion the greatest reason of them all has to be the directive that deputy president shigadi gashagwa gave to all mount kenya leaders he literally told them that by december 31st that is the grace period all mount kenya leaders should come back to jubilee and as we speak today is the 12th they made that particular speech on the 11th if you add the 14 day window which they want to leave azimio in on top of the 11 you'll find that that date falls around december 25th in fact it is december 25th on christmas and that is very much in good time before the december 31st deadline of rigathi gashagwa so these people do not want to go home eating christmas while they <laughs> while they are still in azimio because it will not be a very nice festive season for them and that is why they are very eager to leave and they have created the 14 day window for that to take place so now i am just waiting to see what is jeremiah kioni's response to this particular comments from his nairobi caucus on top of that the resignation of president uru kenyatta from azimio also looks very fishy for me is he also heeding the 31st deadline or has he been pressured by his own party to avoid the embarrassment of looking like he has betrayed raila to just exit from the political scene so that when they decide to leave azimio it doesn't look like it was an uru kenyatta instigated thing and it cannot be read as an uru kenyatta betrayal of azimio so that resignation of president uru kenyatta as the azimio chairman to focus on his peace activities and what not across the country and also across the continent has triggered this particular move so now what does all this mean for azimio moving forward azimio is a group that is made up of four big boys the big parties in the coalition We have ODM, we have Jubilee, we have Wipa, and then we have Kanu. Now with the exit of Jubilee, I can almost certainly guarantee you that Kanu is also going to leave. And I say that because two of Kanu's greatest politicians as at now, it is Gideon Moi and Francis Atwoli. Francis Atwoli has already left Azimio, but despite that he is a Kanu member till date. And Gideon Moi much as he has not left he has not been attending Azimio rallies he categorically stated that his party will not go to maandamano with the likes of ODM and the others so that shows me that even Kanu is disinterested in being within Azimio and many times in life there are people who want to do something but they don't do it they just remain seated and quiet they wait for that person to stand up then they also stand up so with the exit of Jubilee out goes Kanu and that will leave only two major parties that will be ODM and Wiper and then Martha Karua's knack which is as good as dead if you ask me and if at all that office of the opposition leader will not be formed then there will be no glue holding these three people together the only reason they are together now is because there is a possibilities of some resources coming their way if an office comes Relo Dinga is sorted Martha Karua is sorted 
they will see how to put their heads together and also sort Kalonzo Musyoka. But if that doesn't materialize, it will lead to losses of some troops. Even Kalonzo Musyoka himself, he might leave. Because he'll look around and see that everyone has left. He's the only one left there and Raila Odinga is not giving him a chance to sit on the driver's seat. So he might just also exit. So this is very dangerous. The exit of Jubilee will come about with the exit of Kanu. And with the failure to materialize of the office of opposition leader, even Wiper will be gone. But politics is a very dynamic game. Let's see how things materialize moving forward. Now that's just my opinion, guys. Do drop me your own comments in the comment section below. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. Now in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button and you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. All right, guys. Adios.